Hi there, Morgan here from Crafting a Lovely Life, and today we are going to be making this super cute Coffee is My Love Language tea towel using our Cricut and heat transfer vinyl, also known as iron-on vinyl. This is such a fun and easy project. If you're new to Cricut, then this is the perfect beginner project for you. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is measure our tea towel to see how wide we want our design to be on the towel. To do this, I folded the towel how I would normally fold a towel when I'm going to hang it and then used a tape measure to see how wide I could make the design. For this project, I went with six inches but probably could have easily gone up to at least seven inches. Next, we're going to open up a new project in Cricut Design Space and upload our design. The design I'm using for this project is available for free on my website and I'll link that down below. Once you have the design open, you can adjust the size to fit on the towel you're using. Before we cut this design, we will want to attach the different design elements. If I click make it before attaching everything together, you can see that the design is all over the place. That is not what we want, so we're gonna go back and attach the design. Since we are using two colors for this design, we will need to only select the black part of the design to attach. In order to just select the black part of the design, we will need to ungroup it. So select the design and click ungroup. Now we can turn off the red hearts and select the black section of the design. Then we can click attach. Turn the hearts back on and click the make it button. Now our design looks just how we want it. You can see that we will have two different cuts, one for each color we're using. You do have the ability to move all of the design elements to one mat so that you don't have to load up the mat twice. But for this beginner's project, we will just cut each mat separately. In my other iron on vinyl tutorials with multiple colors, I show you how to do this. So check those out if you want a more advanced way of cutting designs with multiple colors. Since we are using heat transfer vinyl, we need to make sure to also mirror our design. So we will go ahead and click the mirror option for both of the mats. Next, I'm going to place the black heat transfer vinyl on my standard grip mat. You will want to place the HTV with the shiny side down. Then I like to use a brayer tool to make sure the material is really stuck on the mat well. Now we need to select our material type before we can cut. I'm doing this part on my tablet, but you can do it on your computer as well. If you are using Cricut brand heat transfer vinyl, then be sure to select the specific kind as your material type. I'm using a non-Cricut brand HTV, so I'm going to set my material to heat transfer vinyl non-Cricut. If you are using an Explore machine, you will want to set the dial to iron on. Once you select your material, the arrow button on your machine should start blinking, meaning you are ready to load your mat. Once the mat is loaded, the Cricut button will start blinking and you are ready to start cutting. When the machine is done cutting, the arrow button will start blinking again and you can unload the mat. To take the HTV off of the mat, you will want to flip over the mat and gently peel the mat back from the HTV. Now we can place the red glitter iron-on onto the standard grip mat. The shiny side goes down again and I will use the brayer tool to make sure the vinyl is adhered well. Since we are using a different type of vinyl for this mat, we will need to change our material type to glitter iron-on. To do this on an Explore machine, you will need to set the dial to Custom and then select Glitter Iron-On in the Material Type section of Design Space. Load the mat again and select the Cut button to start cutting. Once the Cricut is done cutting, unload the mat and peel the mat away from the vinyl like we did with the black iron-on vinyl previously. Next, we are going to start weeding the design. I'm using a Cricut weeding tool for this part and I highly recommend you do as well. I've linked all of the materials I recommend for this project below. When I'm weeding, the first thing I like to do is get the bulk of the excess vinyl peeled off. 
This part is sped up quite a bit, but when you're weeding, make sure that you take your time so that you don't accidentally tear or weed the wrong parts of the design. After I get the bulk of the excess vinyl off of the design, I go back and get all of the smaller pieces in the letters and the rest of the design. Make sure you look over the design a few times to double check that there aren't any little pieces you missed when weeding. Now I'm going to pull up Cricut's heat guide so I can figure out what temperature I need to set my Cricut Easy Press to. I will put that link below as well. For this project, I'm selecting the Easy Press, then selecting Glitter Iron On for the material type. Then I select what type of material I'm applying the HTV to, in this case, cotton. The reason I'm selecting glitter as my material instead of regular iron-on vinyl is because the glitter requires a higher temperature than the everyday iron-on. I want to make sure that both the glitter and regular iron-on vinyl get stuck to the towel, so I'm using the slightly higher heat recommendation. The heat guide recommends setting the temperature to 330 degrees for 30 seconds. Then after we heat the front of the design, we will also press the back of the towel for 15 seconds. To get the design lined up in the center of the towel, I'm folding the towel in half and then applying heat. This will put a crease on the towel right in the center so I have a visible line to place my design on. This will also preheat the towel, which Cricut recommends doing before applying the design. Next, to line up the design, I'm going to fold over the design and gently crease the top and bottom of the plastic backing sheet. Then I can match those lines up to the line in the center of my towel. Now we can place the design down on the towel and then we will add the hearts to the design before pressing. To add the hearts, you will need to trim the plastic sheet down to make sure you can stick the hearts on the towel without covering any of the black vinyl. If you cover the black vinyl with the plastic sheet from the hearts, the black vinyl will not adhere to the towel. When you place the hearts on the towel, make sure the glitter side is up. Now that the design is lined up, we are ready to apply heat. Just place the heat press down on top of the plastic sheet, making sure you are covering your design. Then apply firm pressure so that the design is evenly heated. Next, we will flip over the towel and press for 15 more seconds. The type of HTV I am using is a warm peel, meaning you have to peel the plastic sheet away from the design while it is warm. The type of vinyl you purchase will specify if it is a warm peel or cool peel heat transfer vinyl. Once you start to peel the plastic sheet away, if you notice any parts of the design not adhering to the towel, just place the plastic sheet back down and go over that spot with the heat press again until it sticks. If you have a heat press mini, that works really well for small areas that aren't sticking. And that's all there is to it. Wasn't that so easy? I love how this tea towel turned out and it looks so cute in my kitchen. Don't forget you can grab this design and the written tutorial for this tea towel on my website listed below. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.